going on guys, Butterbar here. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a good day today. Second video of today, so hopefully you caught my first one talking about Call of Duty Vanguard and how that the rumors are of how that game is getting developed. But I had to talk about this story because this is just so funny. And also too, Hail Hydra, right? <laughs> Hail Hydra! No, look, <laughs> if I would have told you as an individual, hey look, as an individual, pick up the heaviest thing that you can find in your life, carry it, it's gonna make you a stronger and better person throughout your life. And if you find something heavier than that, carry that that next heavier thing, it's gonna make you even better and stronger throughout your life and continue to do that purpose until there's literally nothing else to carry. What if I were to say this? Hey, clean your room. Take some personal responsibility for yourself. Does that offend you? Does that, does that just make you, oh, I'm offended, how dare you, sir? Well, <laughs> apparently stuff like that that I said uh, is apparently offensive in Marvel Comics because Marvel Comics is comparing Jordan Peterson, a, a world-renowned clinical psychologist that is, his main purpose on life is trying to give other people purpose. <laughs> Comparing him to Red Skull. I mean, honest to God, are you serious about this stuff? Now, I will say this. Jordan Peterson, even though he's kind of in shock by this entire thing, he was he was like, what the hell is this? How am I getting compared to Red Skull? He's actually been a very damn good sport to this entire thing. It's honest to God, a meme now. It's so funny. Th this Marvel Comics artist, we'll talk about this too. We'll get into this Guardian article talking about it. This comic artist for Marvel is comparing Jordan Peterson to the Red Skull. And a lot of people are going, I don't, I, how can you make that comparison between Jordan Peterson who says, clean up your room, and the Red Skull and it wants world domination? Like, how does that work? So we're going to get into this article and talk about it. But honestly, it's leading to one very funny thing that even a lot of people are talking about Jordan Peterson and this Red Skull comparison is that are we supposed to now root for the Red Skull? Because Jordan Peterson's kind of like a classic liberal person. So is is the Red Skull now classic liberal? Is 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 Captain America fascist? I don't know. It's It opens up a bag of worms that I'm just, I'm not assuming that Marvel wanted to open, but now it's just like, uh, who are we supposed to be rooting for now if you're comparing Red or Jordan Peterson to the Red Skull? So anyway, this is several days old, uh, but the Guardian actually gets into this article or gets into this news story of apparently Jordan Peterson being compared to the Red Skull um, in this newest newest Captain Mar or sorry Captain Marvel Captain America nobody cares about Captain Marvel Captain America um, and talking about how Jordan Peterson wrote this book called The Twelve Rules of Life. Pretty much just saying, hey, do these rules of life, give yourself some purpose, and give yourself yourself something to drive towards to make yourself a better person and to make the world and your community a better place. It's pretty much the, the overall feeling of what 12 rules of life are. Well, in this comparison from Red Skull to Jordan Peterson, uh, in the in the Captain America article, apparently Red Skull uh, is, a, is a world-renowned, um, I, I guess person that's an online talker i guess kind of like me talking to you guys online um but he who wrote the book the 10 rules of life so jordan peterson looking at like what what like 12 rules of life is what he wrote 10 rules of life apparently is what red skull wrote so it's just the most ridiculous comparison i've ever seen if you have ever listened to jordan peterson talk give his opinion about how more people need to take more personal responsibility for their own lives make their own lives better before they try to they, they try to make other people's lives better um they need to do that they need to take care of themselves they need to give themselves purpose and that's the one thing that he has like look I'll, I'll give this to you as well i'll give you my personal opinion i think that young men or even women as well are lacking purpose in this life i have definitely found my purpose when it comes to wanting to serve people i learned that early on in life when I joined the military. The military gave me purpose of wanting to serve, and I continue to do that. I continue to serve not only with my country back you know, when I was younger or now to my community being a firefighter. I've also done this too where my, my family, my family has given me purpose to where I wanna take care of my wife, I wanna take care of my kids, I wanna take care of my house and make sure everything's well. I also have a purpose now to raise my daughters well and being able to educate them and make them better better people to where they can continue on and make and make that, con that continuation of education of making their kids uh, you know more per more purposeful and more better um it's just this ongoing cycle of wanting to continue to have purpose and also give 
give other people's purpose. That's what Jordan Peterson has been kind of doing with what he's trying to give people. They're tr he's trying to tell people, hey, this is what you need to do. Give yourself purpose to make yourself better and to continue on that process of making ongoing um, people better in, 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 in different ways. Well, apparently that is harsh language, apparently, to uh, one writer at, at Marvel Comics. So uh, the Guardian article goes on to saying, in the newest issue of Captain America, the superhero's longtime nemesis, the Red Skull, um, <laughs> espouse his views about the 10 rules of life. Now, Jordan Peterson wrote the 12 rules of life. Um, the feminist trap, the chaos and order. And a Canadian psychologist, Jordan Peterson, is none too pleased with this. <laughs> Written by award-winning author Tanish, uh, Ta Tahanish Coates. Sorry if I butchered that. I apologize. Um, Marvel's comic um, the Marvel's comic features a version of the villain who looks uh, to <laughs> young men by telling them what they're always longing to hear and that they're secretly great. The whole world is against them, and that they if they are um, that if they're men, they they'll fight back. And bingo, that's their purpose. That's what they will live for, and that's what they'll die for. Now, I will say this. There's no way in the world that's what Jordan... And I understand that he's trying to compare the two. Um, Jordan Peterson's teachings is about giving people purpose. Like I said, you there is no... I, I, I doubt anybody can disagree that there's a large... Uh, a part of our society where they're lacking purpose that young men are lacking the drive to make themselves better to go out there and to achieve things um and i don't know if that's just the way that our society has just gone for the so long uh, such a long time but jordan peterson is seeing this lack of of wanting to make yourself better wanting to progress through life wanting to achieve certain things for all different types of people, whether it's men, women, no matter what race you are, he's a, he's seeing that people are lacking purpose, and he's wanting to help people help people out. Now they're not saying that they're looking at like vi victims and whatnot from what this is saying, um, and fighting back against certain things. That's not what he's saying. That's not at all what Jordan Peterson has said uh, in any of his books. So it's just a ridiculous comparison. But I'm at least happy that Peterson is just. He's taking it on the chin, but he's taking it in strides and making it kind of a funny comparison with continuing on this meme of horse. Peterson, a self-styled um, professor against political correctness who wrote the book of 12, 12 Rules for Life, is adored by... Okay, so this is where I don't agree with uh, The Guardian. Adored by young white men who feel alienated to describe chaos as being represented by the feminine and say the masculine spirit uh, is under assault. Now, I will say this. Jordan Peterson is able to uh, to uh, get an audience more than just young white men. He's able to get all different ranges of ages, all different ethnic backgrounds, and also to men and women. His teachings don't just go to one area of the demographic. He's able to stretch this off because there's so many people, no matter where you fit at in the spectrum, <laughs> are lacking purpose. Like, come on. We, we've gotten to this point where in society, people are lacking purpose. And you can definitely see that with, with certain people where, you know, drug addiction or just on laziness and not being able to do anything. People are lacking purpose, and Jordan Peterson is trying to do the best that he possibly can to get people to strive for something, to carry carry the heaviest thing that you can find, and to strive on it, and to carry it, and make yourself better, and to make society better. So, it's just a, a weird, dumb notion. So, anyway, I wanted to get into this thing, and I, I, I found a, a very goofy thing about um, the comic. So, there is this part in the comic where it shows Captain America talking to, I think it looks like a police officer with... Uh, it looks like they're at a doctor's office and it and it says in here the police officer says yeah he did captain america says uh it's the same for all of us or all of them young men weak looking for purpose i found the flag you found the badge now i will say this i thought this was very funny so <laughs> this is the goofiest thing when you when when certain people look at military people they think baby killer like that like on, like I've, I've had that shouted to me as well baby killer because i was in the military so there's people that are against military people and also too you found the badge tell me right now there's not a negative stereotype or a negative uh, negative uh, thoughts about police so don't tell me right now at least in this comic where you're saying, you found the badge, I found the flag, they found the red skull. And I'm thinking right here, people have negative negative thoughts about police, people have negative thoughts about the military. Again, are you trying to paint the red skull as the good guy? 
it's just ridiculous. It is such a ridiculous notion that, that this is just going on to where they're comparing Jordan Peterson, somebody that's trying to help people out through lives that are going through hard times, whether it's being hard times in their life, different milestones that they just can't reach, or just trying to find that extra drive. Now look, there's all different types of, of, uh, of charismatic speakers out there that are trying to get people on the right path and trying to tell them, hey, do certain things here, and it's gonna help you make yourself make your life better and make your community better because you are making yourself a better person. George, Jordan Peterson is just one type of per, a person out there that is doing that. Um, but apparently at Marvel Comics, because you are telling young men, young women, uh, I guess all ages, all backgrounds, um, apparently carrying the heaviest thing, cleaning your room, um, is something uh, equal to a world domination, apparently, in Marvel's eyes. So anyway, I will say this too. I enjoy that Jor Jordan Peterson is taking this um, in stride and, and making it kind of a funny thing. So instead of Hail Hydra, it's Hail Lobster. So <laughs> he's definitely um, making it to where it's just it's just a goofy notion. And I, I just I honestly cannot believe that this is a place where we're at now in society where somebody that is a, a, a type of motivational speaker trying to help people out and try to get them out of the darkness that they're in, bring them into the light and make them a better person. Apparently they're equal to Red Skull. So that's where we're at in society. Fantastic. So anyway, just wanted to talk about it. Thought it was really damn funny. Wanted to share the story with you guys. So let me know in the comments below. Have you heard anything about Jordan Peterson being compared to the Red Skull? Let me know in the comments below. And then what do you just think about this whole whole just goofy discussion and comparison that's going to going on? So let me know in the comments below. Have a great rest of the day. And I look forward to talking to you guys all next time.